there. Uh, yes. I think I screwed that up. Oh, well, L-Y-N. Leave L-Y-N. It. Leave, it, leave it. No, no, we're not going to leave that. I'm still getting heat from when I uh, misspelled uh, uh, Britt Baker's uh, Twitter the, a couple weeks ago. So, well, this one goes to, the floor goes to, uh, even though most of us watch it on TV, but somebody experienced it in person as he has the Bailey swag to prove it. Uh, so NXT TakeOver, Impressions Live, Mad Mike. All right. Um, without hyperbole, I think... This might be the n- either the best or the second best wrestling show I've ever been to. Um, it, it it was from top to like from top to bottom. It was fantastic. Uh, they show we recorded T to B. They recorded uh, this Wednesday's NXT before mm-hmm. Takeover started. Yeah. So uh, I won't spoil anything here. We'll save that for uh, midweek four when it goes on. Because I'm curious to see how a lot of that stuff translates. Because there were there were some interesting things going on. We, we had an Eva Marie match. Um, the crowd enjoyed that one. Uh, the show started with Enzo and Cass, which was the perfect way to open the entire night. Because uh, I posted a video on uh, YouTube on uh, the Mayhem's on the Mayhem Show's YouTube, of Enzo and Cass's entrance, and they owned the whole stadium. Like there, there were Enzo and Cass chants. There were chants for "How are you doing?" before we even got in the building. Um, as far as the actual show goes, uh, Tri- Triple H came out about ten minutes before, or five ten minutes before the show was starting, and he wanted everyone in the arena to be as quiet as possible so he could do his. Uh, his cool little intro with the single spotlight over him, and they raise his arms so the whole uh, so all the lights are on. You can see the entire crowd. Uh, for the most part, it sounded like it came off pretty good. I know we were quiet during it the whole time. Um, everything about the like everything about the show was on point. Uh, everyone loved Apollo Cruz. Tyler Breeze's entrance was phenomenal. He did a sightseeing tour in New York City, which was great. Um, Obviously, the Bailey Sasha match was ridiculous. Um, then the curtain call afterwards with the four horse women was awesome. Uh, Balor and Owens was great. J- just everything about it was really, really well done, well put together. Uh, it, it, the the thing that I noticed, and um, I think it's because of where we were sitting. The uh, we were saying hard camera side, so um, we saw the first row on the opposite side where the where like the production usually is, mm-hmm. and that's where Zack Ryder's father was sitting. He was sitting there for Zack's match. He would, um, Mojo's you, you're talking like the first, like the first first row, or like the first first row. Okay, like um. Uh, it's a blink and you miss a moment, but when Kevin Owens came out, his wife and kid were in front, were in the front row. Oh, that's awesome! And Bailey, like, there is a shot where Bailey is looking at her mom and dad, at her mom and dad, or her mom and her brother, or whatever, whoever was there, I forget. Um, but they were front row, just staring at her, and like while she was trying to get out of the bank statement, mm-hmm. it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. And it's something you don't really get being hard camera side because they're showing the crowd from the other end. But um, the other thing that was interesting, and I don't know if this is because it's the first time they're in a big arena, but there was a referee on the floor um, opposite hard camera side that was kind of telling them when to like pose and stuff like when the replays were done. Yeah. And it's kind of like it was kind of like a teaching moment too, because it, it's not something you notice if you're just watching the in ring stuff. But right. at that point, it was all like about taunts and entrances and everything like that. And I just thought it was like the there was a referee that was almost acting as a director, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it well, was really really cool. I, 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 as you know, Mike, when I go, I barely watch the show typically, like on Raw and stuff. And right. uh, I, I what I've always noticed was especially when they're on the ramp. Uh, I'll see a, a signal from the camera guy in front of them, like I'll, you mm-hmm. know, go or stop, you know, like just a little bit, 
or you know or, or turn so like you know you, you come back from the thing and they're on the ramp and they're gonna turn around and look at the guy or something like they're they're getting signals from that right uh, as much as they can or maybe they're not seeing the screen to see their cue or something like that so um and yeah i think it does happen more often than not um now it's very that's very interesting because typically it was a ref in the ring like was there no ref in the ring when that happened because it was like after the match Oh no! Uh, he, it was it was the ref that was in the ring during the match, but he this was all out. This was all post match stuff, like mm-hmm. all the celebrations and everything. Mm-hmm. So he was outside the ring, right? Because I mean, I noticed. I don't know if I'm just at that point, but I, I I noticed like the, you know, even them getting whispered to after they've won, and maybe during a hand raise or before or something like that. And and yeah, you know, I kind of look at it, it was like, oh, they're telling them to make sure to turn this way or 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 camera over here or something like that. You know what I mean? Or yeah. or make this quick time short, you know, do your post quick, you know, or wait for this, you know. Um, I, I think it's interesting. It, 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 and, and to see those little cues. If they're doing it right, you don't notice it, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's a part of a referee's job, to be honest. So, cool. It, it's cool. And it, it, maybe it is. So you think it's more prevalent because they're newer people still? 